room I have an hour and 15 before my flight departs let's go see if I make my flight gonna be flying out of Las Vegas Airport but not the regular commercial airlines So this is not the regular way you get to the Las Vegas airport because we're not going to the regular old terminal, we're going to the JSX hangar. The JSS hangar is on the opposite side of where the regular commercial airline terminal is. Getting out of the Uber, there's a valet sign out front and a valet attendant. Valet parking is $35 a day. There is no parking at the Las Vegas hangar and this is common for most JSX hangars. Drop off from a rideshare service is typically recommended when flying JSX. Thanks, you too. JSX stands for Jet Suite X, and this is my first time flying this airline. Some people like to call this private flying. I don't think it's very private, especially if you have to share the jet with 30, 40 people, but it's as close to getting to private as you possibly can without spending hundreds of thousands of dollars for your own chartered flight. I'll tell you more about how much I paid for this flight at the end of this video. My flight boards in 30 minutes, so let's go check in and I'll show you around this hangar. Walking into the building, around the corner are the check-in counters. No lines, no crowds. I got here 30 minutes before my flight and there was no one here. They swabbed my bag for explosive residue and asked me if I'm carrying any dangerous items. Of course the answer is no and I'm given my boarding pass that is printed out of a receipt printer. Definitely not premium feeling, but I guess that's okay. Immediately to the right of the check-in desk is the expansive lounge area. The lounge area had plenty of seating space. The branding throughout is on point with the gray, white, red, and natural wood, couch seating, desk seating, workstation, and charging stations. As for the amenities, there is a water filter, a coffee machine, no food, no snacks at all, which is kind of surprising. But the coolest part is being able to see the planes and the JSX operations through the windows. When it comes to boarding, there are metal detectors that you have to walk through. It's kind of like the security you have to go through when you go to a sporting event at a stadium or an arena. You walk through the hangars and then onto the apron and then to the planes. That's the terminal that we were just in. JSX flies the Embraer 135 or the Embraer 145. Some of their planes are in the 1-2 configuration and some of them are in the 1-1 configuration. Obviously the 1-1 configuration is better, but that's not the one I'm flying today unfortunately. This is our plane and it's the special Vanderpump dogs livery. GSX is a dog and cat friendly airline and if you have a small cat or a dog that fits in a carrier, they can fly free of charge according to the GSX website. For medium to large size dogs, you need to buy a seat for them and they can occupy the area on the floor for that purchased seat. Boarding our flight, I'm seated in seat 8A, which is the single seat side of the plane. Always sit on the left side of the plane when flying to San Diego, and you'll see why. The cabin is very clean and the seats are definitely nicer than what you'll find on any of the big three airlines. What I thought was interesting is that they took out all the overhead bins in the cabin. There's also plenty of leg room in between the seats and there's also plugs at every seat. The boarding procedure was so fast I like I barely had any time to get any sort of footage and once I was the last person on board they started to push back like literally like two or three minutes afterwards.
since this is a short flight, drinks and snack service started immediately so I pulled out the menu to take a look. Everything is complimentary including the alcoholic beverages. There are your typical soft drinks, coffee and tea, and there's also some liquor as well. Nothing too premium, just pretty standard overall. On the back of the menu though, it introduces Starlink, which is the free Wi-Fi service on JSX. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation operated by SpaceX, providing satellite internet access. JSX is one of the first airlines to get Starlink internet access on their planes. And it did not disappoint. After connecting to the Wi-Fi and running a speed test, it clocked in at over 133 megs a second at cruising altitude. And that's crazy fast and 10 megabytes per second on the upload, which is fast enough to do pretty much anything you need to do online, including streaming video and scrolling through social media videos. seat reclined a generous amount, the armrests are removable, and the tray table has this wrapped fake wood look that I think looks kind of tacky. The flight attendant came by for drink orders, and since the cabin is pretty small, he came back pretty quickly with my water, only getting water because it's still pretty early in the morning. And then the snack basket came around, this kind of reminds me of what Southwest used to do with their snack basket. I went with the snap pea chips and the Albanese gummy bears, if you know you know, and the sweet potato chips. Similar to how we departed Las Vegas, the plane pulled into a private hangar away from the main terminal. We did plane and the FBO here is pretty small and sparse, there's not much seating room and there's a coffee machine. It's safe to say, don't expect very many amenities at these hangars or FBOs that JSX flies out of. The bags were unloaded off the plane and brought out to the front of the building, and that's what it's like flying JSX. I call an Uber to get home, and then I will let you know what I think from my office when I get home. As for how much it cost to book this flight, it was a total of $239 one way from Las Vegas to San Diego. At the time of booking, Southwest was charging around $150, Spirit was charging around $70 for a comparable flight. The booking process is like any other airline, just go online and book your flight. They have two options when booking your flight, hop on which is the cheapest option, the discounted fare, and the fully refundable fare which is the more expensive option. You go through the booking process and they still charge you for a seat which I think is a little off brand for being a premium luxury product. When booking that flight you can also add your United or JetBlue number to earn some United miles or JetBlue miles for your flight. Currently you can't redeem United or JetBlue miles for JSX flights unfortunately. Flying JSX is nice. The convenience of just showing up 20 to 30 minutes before your flight, not having to wait in line, not having to deal with crowds or anything, arrive at the hangar, check in, and walk onto the plane. That's what you're really paying for when you're flying JSX. The flying part is pretty standard, but it's the ground experience. The expedited ground experience is what you're really paying for. So if you value the expedited ground service and willing to pay the premium for it, then it might be worth it for you. For me, if the prices stay reasonable, I'd fly JSX again. Being $89 more than what a commercial flight was at the time, that's pretty reasonable for me. I just hope they expand to more routes. They currently have a lot of West Coast, Texas, and some East Coast routes, but I hope they expand to more routes. Comment below and let me know if JSX is something you'd be interested in flying and whether if it's worth the premium or not for you. If you made it this far in this video, thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.